He began his career racing carts at nine years of age and had 81 victories in 85 races. At 16, he became the youngest Formula Ford champion, setting four track records. Today, Paul Tracy leads all contenders in ARS racing as the up-and-comer to watch. Recently, we visited with the young Canadian to get his view of competing in one of North America's most respected divisions. Well, the ARS series was designed in 1986. It was the first season they ran it as a backup series for the Indy cars for younger drivers to come up and get an opportunity because there was no real formula between um, the lower class, lower horsepower classes and Indy cars. So it was a really big jump to try and get into an Indy car from a from a car that has like 100. And, 40, 150 horsepower up to an Indy car, which is a 700 horsepower. So, Kart designed a series with Pat Patrick, put up all the money and brought the cars in from Europe. With, and they supplied engines from Buick, which have 420 horsepower as a stepping stone to sprint, springboard the drivers into Indy cars. In June of 1987, Paul was hired as a test driver for General Motors in Detroit, testing mechanical components, and was then contracted to Powell Motorsports as lead driver for the number two Corvette sponsored by Road and Track Magazine. That season, he competed in eight Formula Ford 2000 races, taking seven pole positions. And what about the adjustments a driver must make as the technology of his cars seems to get progressively more sophisticated? I don't think we have to adjust in terms of driving style. I think the, the workload will be a lot harder because there's not really a lot of things you can do with the ARS car. They've made it pretty well a stock series. You're not allowed to change the cars a lot. You can't do anything to the engine, so you're just basically driving on the on your talent. For Tracy, winning on the track is always a priority, but sometimes there is another side to the sport that he sees as being largely hidden from the public eye. I was reading an article on the Ayrton Senna and some of the things that he's experienced and it gets to a certain point where you're not really consciously driving anymore. You're just kind of in a tunnel and you're going so fast that you, you don't consciously know it but the times just keep coming down and down and down and then you kind of snap out of it and realize what you're doing and then come into the, the pits and try to do it again. It's, it's a very hard thing to do. It doesn't come easily. And what about the future? What can racing fans expect from Paul Tracy in the years to come? I wish I was in any car, but I'm pretty young right now. Um, I'd like to try and do a race this year and hopefully try and do a full season next year if we can find a sponsorship to do it. The cost of racing is so high that if it wasn't for Sherman Williams helping me out this year, we'd have a really hard time getting the money together to do ARS because it is really expensive. And with the support of Sherman Williams, it helps us a lot. And we're still looking for more to keep things rolling for the rest of the season and go on to next year, try to get into the cars.